I have a serious addiction and I thought I'll make a video about it and talk about it because I saw a TikTok video just a few days ago where the therapist in the TikTok video said, if you have something on your chest, no matter how disgusting or hideous or embarrassing it is, make sure to get it off your chest and share it with everyone. And I decided today I'll make a video and talk about it. Do not worry, you won't get traumatized. It is. I know how usually these things go. I have addiction. I am addicted to OnlyFans girls feats. None of that shit. There will be no sexual things involved. My addiction is a simulator. Again, nothing sexual. Not a chakalaka boom boom simulator. It is a supermarket simulator where I tested it just one time. I played it for one day and it just took me away. I played it for hours and hours without even live streaming it or recording it. I stay silent. I sat down build up my supermarket for i've i don't know how many hours honestly but then just a few weeks ago i realized my shame and just stopped playing the whole game and decided to do better things with my time because i was putting way more time than i'm supposed to on this supermarket game now my shisha is ready i won't be putting my face cam in it first i don't want to show you that i'm you know blowing up rings i don't want to be a show off Second thing, these lights are so annoying and it is 3 a.m. I'm recording this and my eyes are burning up. So enjoy. Welcome to Kukumba Market. Now I know you're probably shaming me on seeing how good this whole thing is. Kush, get a life. Kush, go touch grass. Kush, this is unacceptable. We want other, you know, on your main channel YouTube videos. But I'm afraid the reason why you haven't seen, you've been seeing like days missed on posting on the main channel is because... It was because of this whole thing. Let me give you a quick tour of the whole Kukumba market. We have first Abdullah. He's the first cashier that I hire and pay like $100 a day. This is Michael. Is my second cashier that I hire. And since I'm a very humble boss, I decided to check out products myself. Because that's how a boss is supposed to be. And I have three very useful gentlemen over here that I hired as well. Sometimes they wander around like a lost puppy because they glitch out. But they're pretty useful. It's very annoying when you order stuff and you have to like put it just... See? It's it's dead. Pick it up. Put it inside the store. Donkeys. I mean, they're very humble and very cool. Okay, where do I want to put this? We want to... This is my... Oh, yeah. Forgot about the whole tour. This is the SPAC storage where anything, you know, if the shelves are full, this is inside. And once the shelves go empty, midway, because since it gets a cucumber market, is the biggest market in the street on the block over here so the storage they pick it up and they restock everything we have we have toilet paper this is the toilet section cleaning section we have chicken next to the toilet section we have pizza this is the haram alcohol section we have ice cream next to the alcohol pizza pizza french fries this is the ketchup and candy and chocolate section we have beers here sushi uh milk cola co co you get the idea and this is all the um, uh, butter, tuna, steak. Damn, I haven't played this. I forgot where everything else is. But the store can get bigger and bigger. We just need to get some money. My money currently is $95. But don't look at it this way. This is a full investment for the future. Because if you want to make money, you have to spend money. I don't think anyone has said that before, so quote me on that. Hello again. I just realized that I, I changed my mic. It's a wide capturing mic, so you'll have to deal with the sound of... Gol, 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 gol. I apologize in advance, but I'm going to use my face cam at this point. Because you're going to hear it anyways. Why, why do I have this again? I absolutely have no idea. I'm just going to keep it. My friend, close it. You know what? I'll, I'll just put it here, bro. I don't, I don't care at this point. Why do I have this again? Did I buy a new spot? I haven't played this for so long, but I kind of like relapse. That's why like we're doing this whole thing right now. Hold on. Oh, right, you know what? This is pissing me off. $50 out in the garbage. What are you standing here, my friend? Go to work. Oh, I'm kidding. It's still closed. Okay. So what do we need exactly for this whole thing? Okay. We need pistachio. I had a whole rhythm of it. I don't even have money to buy anything. What am I doing? So I had a whole rhythm of it. Let's let's start the whole counter. Um, so I had a rhythm of the whole thing. I knew every single name by heart. I close my eyes, I type it, and it's just like there, and I buy it, and I restock it. Okay, what, what do I need to buy here? Okay, this shelf is not here. This is a cornflakes area. 
Kukuba market is open. Welcome. Walk. Actually, I don't need to advertise myself anymore. Have you seen the size of this store? Exactly. Welcome, ma'am. Good to have you here. Pick whatever you want. Soon, shortly, we'll be restocking everything. Now, I have a lot of goals for this plan. I think I should spend more time focusing on my actual business plans in real life. But I, f I feel like this is practice. This is a good practice to <laughs> practice for the future business because the shit, the detailing in this whole thing is very accurate where it's actually very helpful for the if you want to actually open a supermarket. The details on this is absolutely crazy. Hello, sir. Welcome. Beer, bread, no judgment here. This is the judgment free. Oh, fuck. I forgot how annoying this is. Thank you. Thank you back for coming. But yeah, the details in this whole thing is just uh, absolutely amazing. Where how loans work, how you need to pay your bills on every single day. It's just like something I used to play but when I was a kid. And I always lost control and just play continuously nonstop. And what another thing I discovered with this playing this game is after playing it for six hours, I literally threw up. I was so busy and that was the day I realized I get motion sickness. Yes, yes, I am not ashamed to admit that. I actually get dizzy and throw, throw, throw up if the whole game is just moving too much. I don't know if that's like an illness that most people get or it's just like old age because I just celebrated my 26th birthday. Hello, sir. Welcome. Ice cream. Ice cream. Welcome. Thank you. Please come again. All right. We have $500. Beer. Flour, steak, chocolate, big party tonight, huh? 198.04. There you go. Do not worry, sir. We will restock that hot sauce immediately. Hot sauce. I'll be blowing the shisha inside my PC. Right, let's turn on the light. We are not uh, can juice or some people will call it cheap. All right, we have rice. Thank you, sir. 85. You give me 100 bucks for $15? All right, fine, fine, fine. Good thing is we are a very well-known and rich store. We're not like these cheap stores who don't have any change inside there. They have like limited change. Thankfully, I'm the owner. You should always show how humble you are playing a supermarket game. Thank God. <laughs> Thought I was gonna die. Thank you, please come again. Five dollars. I feel like I wanna put the prices set so I won't go through this whole headache. But I'm gonna lose money, that's the only problem. 45. Thank you. Please come again. 29.40. Thank you. Please come again. Rice pastami is out. The only bad thing about this is only the owner can set up and order this shit. I want to give like supervision to someone and just sit back and do absolutely nothing. Rice pastami. Okay. Okay. What is this? In Thanksgiving? Either her kids are obese or she has her family is just absolutely huge. My friend, wait, I need rice before I forget. Rice coming up. Rice pastami, one, two, three, four. Thank you, please come again. Thank you, please come again. Thank you, please come again. Holy shit, I'm getting motion sickness already. One thing I learned about this whole game is, first of all, what kind of a good businessman I am. Ice cream, chocolate. And another thing I learned is the the people that you meet every day in the supermarket. Like absolutely different type of people. You don't know what they're going through with their life. But one thing I learned is you can judge them by their food. He's buying sushi. He's definitely having hookers over for tonight. 
Oh, he was missing his vodka, which I assume he already has it. Milk and sushi. His family is craving sushi. Four cents. My friend, four cents. Four? No, don do you like to donate to the children in Africa who are starving? I guess not. Go, get out of my store. Don't come again. Beer larger. Holy shit, I have a headache already. My friend, come! The reviews on this place is absolutely amazing as well. I've never had any complaints about anything. Sometimes, like, maybe we get one or two Karens because they complain about how, like, the light works on this whole thing. Why it looks like a fucking scary game place. But nothing too serious. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Quick math. Thank you, please come again. All right, damn, we made $4,700. Being a supermarketer isn't that bad. As a business owner myself, I completely agree that it is a definitely good idea to open a supermarket and take notes. This is an educational type of video as well. Thank you, please come again. All right, what are we missing? Okay, fuck, I'm not in the mood for this whole thing. You know what? I don't know what the hell we're missing. Let's turn on the light for these haramis. First, let's finish up the day. Okay, we didn't have any any complaints. We're fine. Sugar powder, be larger prices. Which sugar powder though? All right. The key is again, once again, you want to make money, you have to spend money. Faster, I pay you for what? Also, the key is also be very careful with who you hire. All right, we got the toilet papers. Good job, Michael. Very proud of your work. Chicken, beer, cornflakes. Thank you. Next. Thank you very much. It does get overwhelming when you don't have cashier. Thanks to Abdullah. They're not getting a raise, but okay, rice is done. It really helps up the whole process of it but my favorite guys are these three uh, minions running around and restocking everything okay we need rice thank you for coming good job everybody that's a big order thank you very much Another satisfied comes, so never mind. Thank you for coming. Next. Wait one second. You know what? I'm hiring someone. Fuck it. I'm not in the mood. I'll be completely honest with you, I have motion sickness again, holy shit, my eyes are tearing up, and I feel like puking because I have a huge headache. Yes, this will probably be the last time, let's just finish up the Kukumba market for the one final time. We are at $2,300. That is more money than in my bank account currently. We still have people complaining. No matter how good you make your market, it's always people complaining about this whole thing. So what I have plans for the next uh, couple of uh, days or couple of weeks coming up, there's a lot of games I want to play. Some games you finish it in a day. Some takes like a couple of days. 
there's gonna be storytelling and everything i want to experience that so we're gonna i'm gonna take you on an adventure adventure all together check us our full abdullah faster so that was the tour of my whole supermarket i'm glad you like it we have a lot of satisfied customers as you can see business is booming money is coming and coming even though i spend it literally the next morning but if you want business classes and business advices i take uh five thousand dollars monthly to teach you how to run your business for more information just comment down below your social security number and we can take it from there take it easy i'll see you at the next one